Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Back by popular demand, we're gonna do another Instagram runs my day. So I'm gonna make the Instagram post now and we're gonna come back tomorrow and check out, see what you guys want me to do. Hi guys, I'm doing another Instagram runs my day and you guys gonna tell me which car I'm gonna take to lunch and give me your selection. And now you're gonna tell me where to go eat and here are the selections. And finally, where are we gonna take this car for a joyride? All right, guys, now it's the next day. Let's see what you guys pick on which car I'm gonna take out. Hi, guys, I'm doing another Instagram. We have McLaren 650S, Bugatti Veyron, SLR, and Tesla. And winner is Bugatti Veyron. Why am I not surprised? Good choice, guys. And now we're gonna check, see where we're gonna go eat. Choices are McDonald's, Flame Broiler, Biscango, and Houston's. And the winner is McDonald's, the most expensive car, well not the most, but you know, out of the list, and the least expensive place to go eat, I like that. All right, well let's see where we're gonna go for a joyride. Choices are McLaren dealership, Lamborghini dealership, Ferrari dealership, or Aston Martin dealership, interesting one. And the winner is, again, why am I not surprised, McLaren dealership. Maybe it's because I wore my clearance shirt this morning. Let's get the show on the road. As usual, I gotta shuffle some cars around to get the bear on out. I should have owned a gas station. What the heck? As a matter of fact, actually, I was in escrow to buy my gas station in 1990 when I was uh, just, uh, no, 91. I was 20 years old, 1991. But it was not in the cars for me. I ended up being a real estate mogul. Guys, I can't go too fast because the low gas light is on. And when you drive a Bugatti, you could be out of gas real quick when that light comes on. So we're just gonna chill until I feed this beast. And then we're gonna go feed ourselves. And a joyride. How much was that gas issue you were trying to buy when you were 20? Oh, it was 175,000. 175,000. Can you imagine that? That thing's probably 2 million. But that was 30 years ago. Yep, and I got scammed. I lost all my money. I had like 20 grand. But maybe that was my destiny, you know? Everything happens for a reason. Sometimes your setbacks are really to push you. Uh, forget it. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's kind of like a sometimes your setbacks are really for a much bigger comeback later. All right, guys, we're at the gas station. We were gonna feed ourselves first, but the car needs food more than we do. It's almost a zero, so it's gonna be expensive. Two eighteen. And I didn't even fill it up. We don't got time for that right now. Okay, let me go pay. Well, we got gas and warning lights. Now, we're gonna go to McLaren Newport Beach and then we're gonna go feed ourselves. McDonald's, that's probably the best part of the day. Wow, look how low this car is compared to this G Class. I can't even see the driver. Hello, didn't you used to own one? Yeah, I had a G uh, Square, 4x4 Square. I couldn't fit it in my home garage, so I sold it. Stopped by a rabbit. You see the rabbit? It's right in front of my car. Oh my God. Can you get the rabbit, please? Oh, 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 oh. Well, at least the rabbit has good taste. Why not stop a Bugatti on a middle of PCH? All right, you know what? Let's go in there, see what they got. You never know. We might come back buying a car. Isn't this what you want to do in your garage? Yeah. So I want to do the exact same thing. Wow, that's pretty cool. I love the rear diffuser. See, this one also has the exhaust in there. This 600 LT2. We got two of them. 
I bet this thing sounds amazing with the exhaust right in the trunk. Sixty seven. Oh, thank you. Wow, this guy drove it, huh? Sixty seven hundred miles, not bad. One point seven. That's a pretty good price for a fully exposed carbon fiber. Look at color. Yeah. I know the owner, he's a really nice guy. With only six cars in inventory, this was a quick tour. Let's go eat. All right, guys. That was our Newport Beach McLaren tour. And I'm really ready for that Big Mac. Whoa. Don't worry, I'm a pro. You know what? This is the most Bugatti friendly drive through I've seen so far. But let's not jump the gun yet. When that turn comes, we'll have to analyze the turn. Yeah, fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two fries. Man, this, this is my first time seeing a Bugatti, man. I've never seen one up close. No way! No, no, no. First, in Newport Beach? I've seen Lambo. Uh -huh. uh, you know, but I've never seen a Bugatti through here, man. This is my first time. Ah! Kobe Bryant came through here with his Lambo. No way! Uh, he was a regular, man. He used to come here every now and then. Wow! Yeah, uh, the first, uh, the first Lambo that he bought. Yeah. That was, that was the first time I saw him. He had the red one. Awesome! Too, I see you're a big fan too. Yeah. <laughs> I have a signature on my arm too, brother. Look. Wow! Yeah, he's on my arm on the other side. That's man. awesome, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. Thank All right. you. All right, you got it. Oh, you have a good one. Time. So Kobe Bryant used to come here as a regular customer with his Lambo. Weren't you and Kobe kind of like neighbors? Yeah. So Kobe lives right across from my complex. They're both in Pelican, but Pelican Hill, Pelican Crest, literally like, literally maybe quarter of a mile away. All right, thank you. Great success. Now, where are we gonna eat these burgers? All right, well guys, it's a very busy life. I have a meeting, so we're gonna have to eat these at my office, sorry. And in a Bugatti, we're gonna get there real quick. Or I could eat it in the car. <laughs> you know what? I'm hungry. And I have a meeting. That's it. Shoot, I dropped the french fry. That's gonna leave a mark. It's gonna be a problem. After 10 years, this buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich is pretty darn good. Mm, go. God, the rabbit, guys. Oh my God, it keeps going under the cars. Yeah, this is definitely one of the most odd and weird videos I've ever made. Got stopped by a rabbit, eating my french fries and rest of my sandwich at every red light. I even dropped a few french fries. I think I'm gonna leave the rest for the office. It's not easy shifting up and down, braking, accelerating in a Bugatti. Woo! All right, guys, we're home, and I can't wait to finish my sandwich. This was definitely a very different shoot than normal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be safe, be well. Make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel, and see you next week. Success has been true, trial and errors. Over the past 28 years, had I had a mentor early on, I would have saved a lot of money and lots of time and avoid a lot of pitfalls. So lucky for you, I'm giving you the opportunity to be mentored by me. I created something I wish I had when I got started. We call it Manny Koshman's Millionaire Mentorship. All right guys, if you stayed this long, comment down below Bugatti Chicken. I don't know.